Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. If you're new, well hello. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for stopping by. If you've been here before, hello my friends. Hope you're having an amazing day. Alrighty, so it's been a little while since I've had one of these. Very, very excited about this one. Today, my friends, we have a yarn haul. I know. <laughs> it's exciting. Okay. Big bag of goodies. <laughs> I can barely lift it. Um, have a lobby. <laughs> so. Alright. So, part of this is Hobby Lobby. Part of it is from Walmart. Part of it are things from Amazon. All of it are goodies from my mama. So she went, um, she knows that I'm prepping for a craft fair. I have one at the end of September and then they start just kind of becoming a blur after that fall. I think we've decided fall is like the time to do it. And so prepping. Anywho, so she went to Hobby Lobby on sale week every other week. <coughs> In case you didn't know, now you know. Um, every other week, they have 30% off week on yarn. It's a good deal. And then you old know, Walmart, just regular all Walmart. So, alrighty. Um, and then, yeah, there's just some cool things from Amazon. And then just some... A neat little tool. So, I'm going to start with the cool little tool. Because, yeah. <clears throat> so... This is an auto tool home. Not sponsored, am I right? Anyway, it says it cuts fabric, leather, vinyl, vinyl, how are you doing? Paper, <laughs> multiple layers, which is way, way cool. So it is a cutter, so she got it because you can use it for a little thing called crochet and through the fabric and so that way I can work with the bags and cut around and then be able to have holes to stitch so whenever I make like little pouches and little bags and things like that it'll be easier to line the things and I'm pretty excited about it so yeah so it has the little tool like that so that way you know just an easy stitch which will you know lovely so yes very cool this little blade and then yeah so I'm excited to try this out um let y'all know how it goes but yeah I, I mean obviously who else am I gonna tell you know what I mean people in the house y'all mom um so yeah anyway very cool so I'm excited to try that one out all right so the other day um I got on Amazon. I feel like we're at a weird angle. I did this so that way when I do this and get in the sack, you guys can see crinkle alerts because that is important. Also, it's kind of tall. I feel like we're, that feels better for some reason. Okay, so anyway, but yeah, I got on Amazon, um, got some safety eyes because I was bad out of safety eyes. Um, sometimes I crochet them and I kind of like the way they look on certain things. Some things just look better, look cuter with um, the safety eyes and I've been making like the dinosaurs and things like that. So safety eyes. So <clears throat> I got these, which I have used before. I've almost used these up and they are awesome. These are the kawaii eyes. I can link things down below if you guys want to. Like I said, I'm not affiliated, but, um, yeah, they're, I don't know. Just do safety eyes and kawaii eyes, but anyway, so they have little dots on them. And they're insanely cute. So there are several different sizes. 
But these are really, really good. So I've used those before. I also got these. So I haven't used these, but so I'm hoping that they snap and that they hold well because, you know, they're safety eyes. But there are some really big ones. There are four colors. So there's blue, green, red, and brown. I think that's all. Okay, well, maybe there's five. There's like a goldish color. But there's some bigger size eyeballs. There we go. Bigger ones. Small ones. On the size of your head. You know the deal. Anyway, little ones and big ones. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so yeah, hopefully they're good ones and they snap well. Like I said, I haven't tried those, but I have tried the kawaii eyes and they work quite well. Would recommend. 10 out of 10. Obviously would buy again. So, there you go. I found these for <clears throat> the little book bag keychains that I'm making. Um, I made some Pop-Tarts, little bitty Pop-Tarts, um, some bees and things like that and needed like some clasps. I had just regular keychains, but it's not quite the same, like the ring, but anyway, so let's see them. <clears throat> These little rings, little, well, claws, and they have a little ring at the bottom, so I'll be able to stitch whatever I'm making onto here and then make it into a backpack buddy so or a keychain whatever but same thing I got those on Amazon and there are 50 of them in there I think they're like eight dollars or something so okay and then like I said my mom went to the yarn stores <laughs> so um on top, there are things from Walmart, and then we'll get into Hobby Lobby. Goodness. Save the goodies for last, you know. Although, these are pretty magnificent. So, this is Mainstay Velvet Yarn. And I don't... Well, I guess the one. If the one's velvet, then I've tried it. Or, like, the octopus. The... It's in here. Spoiler alert. Perhaps you know what I'm talking about. Maybe not. But anyway, <laughs> there's one like really pretty rainbowy color that I've had before. Um, okay, so this one, I can't decide if I've used this or not. That's what I'm trying to get to. So I'll see. All right, oh, fun. So, <laughs> Mainstay Velvet Yarn. This has 80 yards, 8.6 ounces, 243.7 grams, 73.1 meters. It is a six bulky suggest you use a nine millimeter knitting needle, eight millimeter crochet hook, 100% polyester. Um, so yes, it is women owned. Let's see the color Arctic white. So as I've mentioned, one of the very best sellers at craft fair is a bee. So for wings and such a good fuzzy yarn. That'll be a really good one. The big fluffy bees sell the best. So there's this in the Arctic White. This is rich black. And there, this is like just so soft and lovely. So that's gonna be really cool with what we have for the what she got for the bee. So I will show you in just a second. So black and white and the mainstay velvet. So there are two black ones. Something else. Oh, spatula. <laughs> You're going to be curious and I'm going to let it, okay. She also sent these up to Derek to grill. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the other thing for me, for whatever, the kids for whatever, you know. All right. So that was in the bottom too. <laughs> All right. So where's the other one? Okay. So this is the, I guess I have tried it. Because this is the one, this isn't as soft as this, like the solids though. Not at all as soft. But I've made a few different like octopus out of this before. Octopi out of this before. And they've sold really, really well at Crappers. Because this is just a beautiful, beautiful color. Colors, color scheme, whatever we're calling it. So, um, same thing, 80 yards, all that, super bulky. 
This is the color Multi Pastel, which makes sense. It's not a very exciting name, but it's it's logical and it makes sense, so that works. So there's like yellows and greens and a beautiful lilac-y purple. Periwinkle, if you will. <laughs> we can get really technical and fun into it. But this one makes really cute little fluffy octopi. It's super cute with the big eyes hot item so <laughs> and I haven't been able to find it anywhere I've looked for it at our Walmart and several surrounding Walmarts and she had a few of them and I was just like what she has an amazing selection at her Walmart and I've heard from a few of my friends here on YouTube and just people around and kind of from the looks of our little section there of yarn at our Walmart I think they're kind of phasing out the yarn selection and so I hope not because hers is still a full aisle. It's pretty spectacular. Can't relate. Mine is about this wide. <laughs> so the one in our Walmart is really quite sad. So okay before I show that <clears throat> look at that. That was gonna be on top but of course why would it you know what I mean? I don't know where it is. There's, so that's why we talked about that crinkle alert sign. There's um, a color that's going to go really well with the black and the white velvet. There's a whole point to it, but we'll get to that. All right, cool. Here's another of the black, which is awesome because, sorry, not only do I use this for black and white bees, but also like I will make a bee with the two of these. I promise you it'll sell. Like it'll probably sell before a black and yellow one. It's wild. So the two of those even as a bee will be a good thing. So there's another one of these. So there's two so far of those. I guess we should keep the count. The sheet is too good to me. There's a Bernat blanket, which is one of my favorites. 220 yards. Um, 300 grams, 201 meters, 10.5 ounces, 100% polyester. This is the color Ocean Shades. This makes a really cool squid, like the big giant squids that I use. Um, the medium-ish size ones are the Premier Bloom, which there's some of that in here, which is really cool. Her, her Walmart has amazing yarn. So anyway, those are like a smaller-ish version, but these make an insanely adorable squid. It's just a big giant cute thing and so, anyway, that's what this will be. Probably an octopus or something. Maybe even a little dinosaur or something. Because I've been having fun with little dinosaurs and stuff. They are way cute and way fun. So, anyway. Color Ocean Shades. I like seafoam green. Pretty purples and blues. You know. Ocean Shades. Okay. So, here it goes. She also got me some stuffing. Um, I left... <laughs> I think two bags of stuffing um, at her house in the garage whenever I pulled off and B and I were already almost out of town. We were getting gas and almost out of town. She's like, do you want to turn around? And I was like, ugh, because I was going to see her in like a week. So I'm going to see her in just a few days. So we're just going to wait. I was like, I probably won't need it because she sent me some more bags. I have two bags of stuffing right here at my feet. So... Alrighty. <laughs> also, so that way I can work on some oligoromias. So, so the Premier Bloom, the Chunky, um, is the other one that I make the squid out of, and they are so cute with the little bitty ones, but they're colorful, and then it's single crochet, so then the little squid kind of ish shows up to be like this you can see the little flowers in it and they're just adorable and so those are a pretty big hit so i need to get to work on some of those because those sell really really well the big ones are a hit too do not get me wrong but everyone really really likes the bloom so okay there's another yay i'm excited another one of these which is amazing multi pastel so that's three of those it's another 
burnout blanket in ocean shades so i think i'm gonna hang out and work on squid today i've been planning for school i think i've about got everything situated i have like two things i need to order other than that i think we're good um so there's that so we're almost done with you know that whole thing or whatever we have a few things in between other than that I think I'm at a point where I can just kind of hang out for a little bit and work on this stuff for craft fairs and crochet things because I was really worried about school more than craft fairs obviously because school comes first we're starting on the 5th it's our first day and my craft fair isn't until the 30th so you know like I was worried about the craft fair but I wasn't so that's another reason I've kind of been which I was gone for a week too went to takeovers and things but that's another reason I kind of haven't been on here because I've been focused on that making sure we have everything ready for that so yeah um but today I think is a good day I'm just kind of feeling pile up and have the yarn and make some really cute things so why we're we doing this today so all right here it is the thing that I was looking for So, she found one skein, and then we went back and they had more, and I told her I wanted to, like, work with it and make sure, just because, but she was thinking the two of those for a bee. How cute is that going to be? So, this is the Pioneer Woman Sherpa Chanel yarn. Uh, there are 58 yards, 53 meters, 7.05 ounces, 200 grams. So pretty little flowers on it that she usually has on everything. Um, it says findery at the pioneerwoman.com. I don't know if you can buy this yarn off of there. If not, maybe try walmart.com. I'm not sure. Find more at walmart.com. Um, this is just the color yellow. So there's a pattern included on the back. That's cool. Ultra soft, easy care. It's 100% polyester. Um... This is care instructions, machine wash cold, dry flat, do not bleach, like that makes sense, do not iron. So knitting, it suggests 10 millimeter needles, crochet, same, so 10 millimeters, which I'm going to be using my 9 millimeter, so sorry, Ray. I hope that works out. Um, but yeah, I like to use my 9 millimeter for my crochet things. This one says, just because that way they're like nice and good because this one suggests an eight millimeter so either way we'll do a happy medium split the difference so I think that'll make a really cute bee <laughs> that and then the wings so yes and I'm excited so I said yeah we just found the one and then there were a few more that had like a teal and a red maybe black and white I can't remember it seems like there was something else but um but yeah I told her I just wanted to make sure that I liked it before we got any more of it but I don't know that is honestly those could go together for a beat but that doesn't really match so maybe not maybe just kidding all right so there's another premier bloom chunky um this is the color snapdragon I told you guys what the color of this one was tulip so this one's the color tulip snapdragon pretty like peaches and baby blues yellows um there's her scarf very pretty so that'll make a really cute squid too there's another one of those awesome i think that's one i want to work on squids at least squid legs <laughs> so i have to make because you make eight legs i will um i remember i will put the pattern down below that i use if not it is helpful the squid um, I get it off of Ravelry, but if you just Google, like, crochet pattern, Hubble the Squid, or vice versa, Hubble the Squid crochet pattern, whenever, um, it'll appear, <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it's a really fun pattern, and it's free, so there you go, it's too cool, um, this one feels different, this one's really, really soft, every now and then you get yarn that just feels completely differently than the other, it's kind of wild. Okay, so anyway, um, it's very soft. 
but yeah anyway before the squid you make eight legs of the same length and then you make two that are a little bit longer and they go in the middle so nothing else I could just sit around and work on squid legs one day and squid bodies the next and then just like that have squids so that could be a plan too so there are two of those <clears throat> Okay. One more of these. And then the rest is from Hobby Lobby. So one more of these, which is awesome. So I'll make some probably bigger octopus with this. Maybe a jellyfish. Um the jellyfish I've been really, really liking. Maybe even like some of the little dinosaurs or something, or like a unicorn. I've been really wanting to make a unicorn. I don't know what the deal is with that, but Anyway, the jellyfish have been a lot of fun. Just a little round with the little curly legs. So, maybe something like that. So, there are four of those then. Which is awesome. <laughs> so, okay. And, oh. Hobby Lobby tape for, um, Lularo packages. One has mushrooms, one is tie-dye. Both make sense. So, <laughs> let's see. Um, so this one is Yarnby Cozy Occasion in the color Olive. Um, this one is 5.5 .5 ounces, 101 yards. So I got this for like frogs, but also at one point I was like, oh yes, for pickles. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of both. Some of like the round frogs with like the super cute eyes on top also some pickles so pretty excited about that one um i also have spooky gnomes to make because my um so my next craft fair is september 30th which i feel like most people surely will be in the spooky mood by then i hope you know let's all hope so no, i'm just kidding but um anyway my bff miss madonna purchased me a pattern and it is so cute and it has a gnome with little eyeballs all over it and it's like the cutest thing ever and so I would really like to make some of those for that and so also because this was kind of reminding me of that talking about the frog because she also a while back purchased um crystal chronically crocheting's pattern for me um and it's the toadstool with little mushroom on top the prince leaps a lot I had to think for a second but that would be really cute with that. Like make him kind of chunky and bigger. But so I've been looking for chunky like greens and colors like that, but they didn't really have a whole lot at Hobby Lobby. And so I don't know, I think I'm just gonna have to get online and look around. So but either way. There's some on there that I've scoped out that I kinda like. So I just need to place an order. Ooh, okay. So this is Baby Bee, um, adorable, super bulky. This is the color Maiden Fair. I'm like in love with that name. It's 3.5 ounces, 38 yards. It's pretty pastels, purples, blues, pinks, a little bit of green, just loveliness. So yeah, that's gorgeous. So same thing, like if I were to make the unicorn because I have some just like Bernat white, um, like the Bernat blanket right here in the color white. And I thought about making a unicorn. That would be really cool for unicorn hair. Like his little, his hooves. <laughs> and then, dude, I know it's a little bit different, but I don't think it would matter that much. I think it would be okay. Especially if I just did the hair. So anyway, thoughts. All right. And then, this one's so pretty. This is Adorable, uh, the Baby Bee Super Bulky. This is the color Happy Face. Um, yeah, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> it's just rainbowy delightfulness. Indeed, Happy Face, it's so pretty. So, yes, so pretty. I don't know what, <laughs> uh, the same thing, I guess, like a little cool unicorn, but honestly, that one's just so cool, I don't even, that one needs to be something really, really neat. It's beautiful. Here is another Maiden Fair. I love that name. And we kind of wanted to make a mermaid. 
see I've been wondering that like are mermaids and unicorns still in because that was a really big deal with her for a while and I'm not so sure that it still is so I don't know but so there are two of those made in fair I like the name of that a lot okay this one's so pretty so this is baby ball baby ball no it's not it's baby bee adora ball in sprinkles this is 3.5 ounces 92 yards yes the color sprinkles um i guess i could tell you hook sizes it's eight millimeter knitting needle nine millimeter crochet hook which is hot pink orange yellow blue purple pretty so you make some really cute somethings out of that let's see what size hook do you use on this just for fun let's find out this one is a 15 millimeter. Wow. All right. Crochet or knitting. It says 15 millimeter. So it's definitely thick. Don't get me wrong, but I'm still probably going to use my nine millimeter hook. We'll see. We'll see. We're probably so. All right. <laughs> anyway, and then last. Sorry for the crinkles. Last, certainly not least. Y'all, these are so cool. Okay, so there's the baby bee, adorable, in the color camo green. So she got me two of these. She's like, I saw those and thought snake, and I was just like, oh, I love it. So I'm going to make a long snake with some cool big green eyes. Okay. And I'm excited. So no, they're not snake eyes, but I don't want them to be too spooky. You never know. Sometimes I've had, I've made things before and people are like, that's scary. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know. Let's be random eyes or whatever on things. So I don't know. I don't have snake eyes. I suppose snake eyes would be pretty cool. I could do gold too though. That might be even better. Let's see. Maybe we do gold. I'll get some little kid come, it'll come by and be like, those aren't snake eyes, that's not right. So either way, I guess, but yeah. There's green and black, it's so cool, so pretty. This could be so many things, you can make Halloween fun things, so many cool little deals out of this. Spiders, I love spiders. I don't know if y'all know that about me, I love spiders, it's a whole thing. But anyway, a snake is the plan, so, all right. So yes, adorable camo green, two of those, enough for a snake. I'm gonna put these back in the sack, so. Crinkle alerts in reverse. All right. Two of the adorable and maiden fair. So pretty. Oh, it's so pretty, look at that green. See, I knew there was green. I can't really see it in this one, but. There's like little flecks of it, but look how pretty. That's like the perfect green. For me personally, that's the perfect green. Okay. And then there is, oh, the adorable. This one's so cool. And the color Happy Face. I love that so much. Adorable sprinkles. Let's see, let's see what the difference. Oh, this is super bulky. I think I said that at one point, but then not the rest of the time. So this one's super bulky. This is just the Adora Ball. So there's a difference. So perhaps we could even do a video. I feel like there's probably one out there, but of the difference. But yeah, so this is just Adora Ball, and then this is super bulky. So in case anyone was curious. <laughs> All right. Uh, then the Mainstay Velvet Yarn. In the color, what was it? Past multi pastel. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. Those, which is very exciting. So yeah, I will be making these, and I don't know what all y'all find out. All sorts of little fun creatures with those. All sorts of fun creatures with those. This one which is the Cozy Occasions Olive Green. So which I'm gonna make some frogs with the big eyes on top, because I think those are so daggum cute. Make some of those and make some pickles, obviously. So, <laughs> and now that I have the little 
hooks. I want to use just like four weight yarn and make some little pickle keychains. I don't know why. It's a thing. So, all right. <laughs> um, Premiere, the Chuggy Bloom. Snapdragon, two of those. <clears throat> yeah, I think these are just gonna go directly onto the whip cart and get my patterns out and start making the things. All right, Chunky Bloom in the color Tulip. I know those are all squid. I can tell you that one going in, those are all squid. Um, Ocean Shades, two of those. Probably two squid at least. And then probably a couple of little tiny octopi. We shall see. I don't know. At least two squid. It takes almost a full yarn, or full yarn. Hey, full skein <laughs> to make a squid. Um, it's a lot, but either way, yeah, that's a really cool yarn. And then the Pioneer Woman Sherpa yarn, which I think this is what I'm going to start with, is to be with this and just see what I think. And so that way I can tell her it is very soft. I think it'll make a very, very luscious little fluffy bee. It's going to be super, super cool. Especially, like I said, those two together. I think the texture is going to be really cool for a bee. So I can't wait to crochet and tell, or crochet and tell, crochet ramblings and bring that back to you all and show you. So, yeah. That one. And then in the velvet. Please don't fall. In the black. There are one, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. So. Can you use those. Um, and then, honestly, the other one, that little happy face color, like the rainbowy looking one in black. That would be really, really cute for a bee, too. Uh, where'd you go? Okay. Yes. That would be really cute. Like a little... That's a thing, I feel like. That would be a cute little bee. Like some little rainbowy wings or something or use this yellow even for wings oh that's cute have big like a blue eye and a green eye i like that i think that's what that is so in case anyone was wondering i think that's what that is all right cool and then and what was it white yeah arctic white so for wings, because that's important. Like so then I have that up there that um I usually use for wings. I have a few obviously black um is there black? A little bitty tiny bit right there. And then that yellow, so I can make some more um medium bees and the bigger bees um for crop ears. And then I don't know. I have a whole list. I think we went through it at one point. We shall see what happens. Y'all know. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, these little things so I can make little um, chicken nuggets. <laughs> little chicken nuggets I made. I want to make those into keychains. Some pickles. Um, all, you know, the things. These and such. And then, little fly eyes. And the big safety eyes. So, um, I'm going to make a cool little tool for, um, making bags and things, which will be really, really neat. I will get used out of that. I think Finn and Bee and probably Squirrely Dan, probably even Derek will probably get used out of that. So, that'll be cool. So, I'm excited about that one. So, I, my friends, I'm going to grab this one of these bags of stuffing um my hook and i don't know this yarn right here i'm gonna work on some bees like i said i was gonna start with this the black and yellow and just make like a normal bee which i 
feel like I should either way just to try this yarn out. But I haven't tried the other one either. And I guess I can make wings with that one too. So technically I try all of them out that way. But I think this needs to be a fun little rainbow bee. With black. And then bright fuzzy yellow wings. And different colored eyes. <laughs> just because. I think that's going to be a thing. So. Alright, cool. Anyway, I'm going to go work on those, um, some little bees and some things. And then tomorrow, my friends, it's finally the conclusion of Solving Ain't Easy. <laughs> we have a winner. Um, I'm going to figure something out with that whole thing. It's a whole deal. But um, yes, which is just really, really cool. So um, winner, chicken dinner, all of those things. <laughs> finally can come to a conclusion. Also, I have, try to keep it together, not cry. I have the coolest blanket to show you all. Um, it's part of Solvent Ain't Easy. No, it's not my blanket. Absolutely not. Um, Miss Heidi made a blanket and it is like the coolest thing. It's, it's so neat. It's a, uh, yeah. So anyway, I can't wait until tomorrow to share that with you all. It's going to keep you all on the edge of your seat. Kind of how I do things around here sometimes. So anyway, edge of your seat for tomorrow and the conclusion of Solving Ain't Easy. But until then, yarn. So hey, all right. Um, and then, yeah, I have um, some down the rabbit holes planned and things like that. And so we will kind of go back to our roots of fun and stuff. And I'm excited. So like crochet and things so all right thank you all so much for checking out the yarn with me i will come back obviously crochet ramblings to show you all what i make so i thank you so very much i hope you have a wonderfully wonderfully blessed day please stay safe and i will talk to you all very soon